Uh, let's start here. Killing him. This is now the armory. So I'm with the same group that I did the... The, um, the library. Scarlet Monastery Library. Let's reset the meter. In library I did uh, half of the damage of the tank, more or less. The damage doesn't matter so much, it's just something I mentioned because it helps out. If you help out with the damage. So in the armory we are here with level 36 mobs. Level Later on there will be 37, 38 probably. So it's actually getting a little bit serious. It's perfect for me, a lot of experience. This is exactly as a priest, as a healer in general. When we want to do the dungeons, when they are at our level exactly. Oh, whoops. I healed myself there. I meant to holy fire. We want really good XP. As best XP as possible. One holding over there because three people were missing a little bit of HP. So in the library run, I said I'm gonna just show my gear and how the upgrades are going without mentioning everything I mention in every video on the YouTube, like my keybinds and my healing and stuff. So my gear is going like this, I have everything spirit, every single item spirit. My items give spirit and stamina and spirit and intellect, or all three, some of them. But mostly it's spirit, so spirit, intellect, helm. Spirit Stamina, this is from the quest from uh, Scarlet Monastery Library. Can clear, clear everything for XP. Uh, meaning we can clear that right side over there. Because we are Alliance, first of all we are levelers, so more XP, better. And we are Alliance, which means we spend 30 minutes. It's not that great. What do you mean? We spent 30 minutes coming to here, so why not uh, why not clear everything if you ask me? Roll for another chest. 35 unluckiest rolls for the chests today. The warrior says it's not that great experience. What do you mean? It's good XP. They are elites at our level. The little man is 36 and these elites are 36 as well. Anyway. Helm in spirit. Neck, spirit stamina. Uh, shoulders, spirit intellect stamina. Cloak, spirit intellect. Chest, spirit stamina. Big 80 in spirit right there from the Gnomergan quest. Bracer, Spirit Int, the stuff I just got from uh, Library, Scarlet Monastery, Spirit Intellect Stamina, even my one gives one Spirit. Uh, rings, Spirit Stamina and Spirit Stamina, both of them. This may interrupt, so let's not stay at melee range. Spirit Intellect Stamina, glo uh, Pants, Spirit Stamina. My boots are spirit stamina int and spirit intellect on the gloves. Every single item gives me spirit. That's what we want as a priest in the leveling. During the leveling here. Later on at max level we want plus healing for for a healer later it will be bonus healing and spirit as well. Healing power and spirit. Okay, so he doesn't wanna heal everything. It's only two mobs in the corner anyway. These mobs uh, heal themselves. There we go. These are paladins. They heal. And the uh, melees disarm and hit really hard. So right here, at our level, it could be a little bit dangerous at times. And he cannot do that much threat when he's disarmed. So we have to care a bit. Potentially. So they disarm, they heal, and uh, they also interrupt. 100% these mobs interrupt. So I'm gonna have to stay back. 
never close to any melee mob as a healer. I'm gonna have to fade here. Be ready to heal other other uh, DPS like the 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 hunter may get aggro or the rogue when the warrior gets disarmed or the warlock. I will instantly renew them and rank a low rank flash heal if I have to. Oh, I sniped the last hit. There is another chest. No, that's a weapon crate. We're not gonna clear in the corner? Oh, bruh. Why the hell not clear everything? Oh, well, maybe we will, but for now he's not clearing it. <coughs> So my most used heal was Renew in uh, Library. 70% of my healing was with just Renew. So I can, uh, I just renew the tank. Because my Renew is so strong. Let's see in this one. In this one I'll have to cast more. And I think in this one the last boss is uh, level 40. So it could be dangerous for us. The protector. Yeah, the protectors are the paladins. If the warrior gets disarmed so much, he cannot do as much damage. Which means, maybe we can out DPS. <laughs> and interrupt on the heal? No. Have to cast here. Low rank renew. Low rank renew. And now I'm saving mana. No qualifiers here. Actually, I have mana pots. A holy fire. I have mana pots I'm never using, and they are level 20 mana pots. So I can just buy the better ones after I use these. Maybe I get this one? Oh, how did I not get it? I'm gonna save mana, the warlock will bandage. Or once I stop my mana region here, I'll give him a low rank renew. And when I so say a low rank, I just mean one below max rank renew. It's rank 5 renew. Oop. Okay. That was too much. Healing aggro, aggro plus the inner, the holy fire aggro. Oh, here we go. Why are you DPSing, priest? <laughs> Are you telling me you feel ashamed the priest is doing your damage? Almost your damage? Almost. Any kick on that? Oh, okay, nice. I got spirit tap. I'm gonna regen to full in combat. Or almost. I would only be complaining that my healer is doing damage if I see him out of mana all the time. If I feel like he's griefing, you know. Because doing damage as a healer, you could also be griefing instead of helping. You just have to know. I try to do my best to, to find the right balance of how much to damage, when to damage and stuff. And I'm only doing this in low level dungeons, at max, at level 60 dungeons, you probably don't have time to do that. Time or resources. Or both. I was wondering what to say, probably the best thing to say when the someone asks, why are you DPSing priest, I should say... Because I have mana. Isn't that the most obvious uh, reason anyway? Because I don't want to AFK with 100% mana and just sit there with 
Maybe I should say because I have the mana for it. One way I would be griefing with DPS if I do Mind Blast. Mind Blast uh, uh, does insane amount of threat. I'll be pulling every mob. In vanilla they even made, made Mind Blast. Specifically says on the ability causes a high amount of threat. So over threatening on purpose. That's what it will look like I'm doing. But Holy Fire is uh, super low mana cost, super mana efficient, and it's not even that much damage. I'll send him a renew, and I have to fade. If I send him, if he pulls the mobs with renew on, I have to fade uh, at the start. Otherwise, you don't wanna uh, heal as soon as uh, he pulls because you can instantly pull aggro. You wanna let him do a sunder on each mob and then you can heal. But you can you can still heal with fade. So far, uh, fourteen thousand healing, and seventy-one percent of it is with renew again. But this is because we are going uh, one by one on the pulls. If we go... If we go crazy with the pulls and we pull two packs at the time, I will not have that much renew healing. I will have flash heal and just regular heal way more. Does he want to be topped? Maybe it's a good idea to top him, yeah. Before he pulls. Or maybe he's... Oh, he's waiting a sub. I see, I see. But earlier he told the rogue he didn't like the to stop it. In Scarlet li Library, he told the rogue to stop it. But yeah, now it's high. Look at this orange mobs, huh? So let's see Herod. The last boss Herod, he'll be level 40. The healing is 15k, the damage is 12k here. So it's more... Uh more healing than damage here because I'm doing less Shadow Word Pain in the library I, I did more Shadow Word Pain have I used Shadow Word Pain so far? 300 damage, maybe only once or twice yeah, I could be using Shadow Word Pain too but it's not needed really it's just uh, additional damage to help use Shadow Word Pain on the second mob but not holy fire on the second mob because it might be too much threat. So he's mainly applying sunders and uh, tanking the main mob. Uh, it's gonna pull something maybe. Oh, I got the last hit, spirit tap as well. But it pulled one. But it's all good. Resisted my holy fire, motherfucker. Again, resisted two qualifiers. This guy is crazy. This mob. This fucking mob. Immune to qualifier, it seems like. I need to uh, rebuff spirit. Six spirit. I'll spam the food as soon as we leave combat here. Drink for mana at the same time might as well because I'm gonna slowly rebuff three minutes left I'll buff like two stamina buff every minute and let the mana regen back instead of full rebuff and having to wait me one minute to drink we'll just do it like this wait how did I oh I have a renew on him that's what I mean exactly with the renew on pull 
that little scenario right there in a raid if i had the threat like this in zg or something i could die but uh, i would not be far out myself like that i would be with the casters i was only far out there right now because i was casting holy fire six spirit four stamina neck Mine is the same spirit with two more stamina. Oh, I pulled it. Oh, that was the interrupt, but I wasn't casting. Yo, Cyber Bro, thank you for the sub, man. Thank you for the tier one sub. Cyber Pro. Appreciate, man. I'm not paying that much attention to chat uh, during the dungeon runs right now. Not only because I need to be more focused, because uh, I'm a healer, I guess. Maybe it's good if I'm more focused. But also, um, stream uh, chat interaction with the stream is, uh, you know, for stream, and we'll do it. For many hours after the dungeon run anyway this could be like a, a little bit more uh, a regular commentary to upload on youtube my first dungeon run of my dungeons in hardcore so far have been uploaded on youtube so is it even worth it to cast on these that are orange now is it so many resists it's coming for me look at that even if i didn't have the thread there in that moment it still turned to me and interrupted me i could do it just uh, just for test okay no need to test it but you know what i mean i don't have they don't have to be targeting me they can turn and interrupt you even if they are not targeting you as the main target so you never want to be melee, uh, melee range to melee mobs. Casters is whatever. But as a priest, you never want to be casting at the melee range of a melee mob. One really huge uh, thing that kills healers. You get interrupted. And they do it even if they are not facing you. Or targeting you. They could be targeting the warrior like right now. right there you see that i was i was uh, stopping my cast i was faking so it actually interrupted me when i was not casting but it turned and interrupted me just an example you know it actually turned around and interrupted me i think the sap resisted or missed but we're gucci so they, these fuckers interrupt you even if they, you are not their main target you get the point pretty much now hey what is that fear bro what if they run that way there is like four mobs over there don't scare me with this fear uh anyway shield the rogue just in case like oh shit shield Oh shit, she owed him. Oh shit, he, this guy is enraged. Flash heal. This is the exact use of flash heal. Two mobs enrage. He suddenly starts dropping to down to 20%. I want fast heal. This is the exactly... In the previous run in library, I was speaking about uh, never using flash heal pretty much. But I would use it a lot in uh, raid situation. In 10 mens, 40 mens later, 20 mens, whatever. That exactly right there is two mobs enraged. You want fast heal. You can do flash heal. Other than that, flash heal is very, very mana inefficient. And it hurts a lot, you know. It hurts a lot on the mana to use it. Maybe I'll dink uh, 36 with the last boss kill. I came here. We started from graveyard with it. 
graveyard library and armory i was level 35 and a half i thought i would get 36 and a half i legit i was so wrong i thought i would get 36 and a half but uh, looks like i overestimated the xp oh flash heal here they are too enraged flash heal or flash heal is only when he gets super low to top him fast this is this is why i should correct myself you want to flash heal when he's low already and you want to top him if you see them enraged you could start pre-casting uh, a big heal before as soon as they enrage not wait until they drop and then have to be like oh shit flash heal above the pets just in case i cannot buff the imp okay is the warrior going to get ravager or is the male shoulders going to drop let's see what herod is going to drop he's the dream of every warrior level 40 a red mob for me red boss let two sunders wait for two sunders that should be enough threat to dps ah, I've been waiting for a real challenge. i may pull with the heal here because i have dot and renew actually i'm not nice the hunter is even macroing his pet to go back when the, with the whirlwind <laughs> oh my god the efficiency on this this is a more serious boss that hits harder so i'm just gonna not damage but be ready to cast a heal it's not it's immune anyway don't want during whirlwind you build threat even with no damage if i want during whirlwind i build threat even without damage uh-huh holy shit holy shit that damage he enraged oh my god <laughs> I just I just re switched to the rogue to renew him and look at that damage. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. And I dinked. Let's go, and I get full mana for the humanoids that are coming now. I will call in over them, but the the warlock will kill them I think even before they come. Six strength, fifteen stamina. These are great warrior shoulders and paladin shoulders and enhancement shaman shoulders. This this boss fight, man, this lasted uh, the Herod fight lasted one minute twenty five seconds. This was an actual boss fight. <laughs> actual boss fight. He did so much damage, I bought it and I was out of mana at the end as well. Nice, the. Uh, thank you for the group and good luck. Uh, I just ran out of mana, it was just enough to kill the boss. Okay, we did it! Scarlet Monastery. Uh, well, I haven't done a Cathedral myself, but. Um, knowing people and they are usually asking for 38 plus and i understand it because uh, even as a healer cathedral at 36 is a little bit low but 38 for me should be good enough for cathedral but for now until 38 i can repeat the three parts uh, well not today anymore but tomorrow i could do this it's a i'm locked Looking for something but tomorrow i could do uh, the same graveyard library armory again and at 38 i can do cathedral as well 39 maybe or 40. so in armory my healing was uh, 31k armory was more healing more healing was needed 
70% with renew so look at that passive holy priest benefits just let the renew there and that's it and now i get another point of searing light 10% damage on my smite gonna be good for questing now that i'm on cooldown on dungeons need to quest healing down 31k damage down 20k helped a little bit holy fire and attack which is wand so holy fire and wand is the most damage done here well this talent boosts my holy fire damage as well so i'll help out with the damage a bit more level 36 with uh, 39 gold will i have uh, 100 gold for the mount or 90 gold for the mount at 40 i don't think so but we'll see but that was a nice uh, nice run uh, pretty smooth um, armory run and a nice run that we weren't over leveled we were just enough just at the level all, even some mobs were orange to me but to the dps every no orange mobs every mob was yellow so yeah scarlet monastery armory right there 